Der ist ja. Äh, It joined the Deutsche Bundesbahn in 1951. We got the information about what the prototype looks like from the documentation department. We've tried out various engines, gearboxes and trucks on this vehicle. It is always a thrill to see the first parts emerge from the mold. This is the second club model in Havo scale called the VT92501, a lone wolf. Its design was intricate. Jochen Hoffmann has mastered it with flying colors. We have a very flat motor gewählt, den wir möglichst tief unter der Inneneinrichtung angebracht haben. We chose a fairly flat motor, which we placed as low as possible under the interior, so that we could bring the interior nicely to window height. We placed the circuit board quite high above the interior, so that you see very little of the electronics. The windows are quite high on this model. In this way, we were able to hide the circuit board and the decoder, which is still on top. The cooling fan has an extra small motor that sits vertically above the gearbox. It was a big challenge to find space for it. From above, you can now see, through a fine fan grill, how the rotor turns. This can be switched on as an extra function. Here you can see the hole for the fan. For the mold, it is initially still closed, so that the die casting can flow well. Later, during processing, it will be opened, so that you can have a good look at the moving fan. We depicted as many fittings as possible in the driver's cab and also made sure that the light did not shine through from below from the lighting. We put a mask around the LED so that when you look into the front of the vehicle, you don't look directly at the LED. We rather wanted to illuminate the driver's cab evenly. The design engineer and product manager meet on a regular basis. Right here you can see the current conducting coupling stuck in the standard shaft very nicely, which is attached on both sides, so that you can attach the car set on both sides. We will get to the cars in a minute, but first let's take a look at the prototype that was used by the Deutsche Bahn as an experimental locomotive in terms of aerodynamics and various engine and transmission elements. At the end of the 1950s, the VT, based in Nuremberg, was also in demand to haul trains in Franconia. The VT-92501 escaped the scrap heap, and so eight brave railroad enthusiasts were able to acquire the engine in 2005, in order to refurbish it in peace. The product manager has focused intently on the lone wolf and is familiar with its life story. For a short time it was also used in normal express train service. And it is precisely this period between 1957 and 1959 that we wanted to recreate in the model. This is exactly the time when it actually hauled express trains between Nuremberg and Amberg, Nuremberg and Fürth im Wald. We have chosen this route to let our VT92.5 play there. The passengers wait on the platform for the train to arrive. By now they have become accustomed to the crimson exotic rail car as it comes whizzing by almost every day. A controlled high-performance drive with flywheel operates on board this model. The digital decoder MFX Plus offers 30 functions and a surprise function. The temporary signal tower, which Märklin offered as a one-time series in 2004, fits well with ERA 3. It was modified after the fact and received an illuminated interior. The neat VT92501 is a completely new tooling by Märklin and Trix. Numerous switchable light functions allow lighting in various areas. This applies not only to the two cabs, but also to the baggage compartment or the corridor. Even the toilets can be lit separately. 
The housing of the pre-series model assembled from molded parts is made of zinc die casting. The sandy yellow trim line with the grey roof provides a nice contrast. In Göppingen, people always think in terms of trains. There will be a matching car set with four cars. We have included a baggage car, a passenger car and two four-axle rebuilt cars. All four cars are equipped with standard interior lighting and current conducting couplings. The interior lighting of the passenger cars can be switched on and off via the current conducting coupling of the VT92.5 and the decoder. The train plays on the route from Nuremberg via Sulzbach-Rosenberg and Schwandorf to Fürth im Wald. Auf der Strecke von Nürnberg über Sulzbach-Rosenberg, Schwandorf bis Fürth im Wald. It's time for departure, so the express train can start moving again. The radios R1 can be navigated effortlessly. By the way, the model comes with another buffer cover for presenting in a display case. The lighting of all models is done with maintenance-free warm white LEDs. The ventilation fan in the series version will be digitally separately switchable and thus movable. Once again, Göppingen has managed to offer customer club members a special engine along with a matching train. So it's worth being a Macklin Insider or Trix club member. Very important, the order deadline is 14th of August 2021. So don't miss it.